Hello, my name's Phil. We're here from Small Hall Boxing here today at a Goodwin show at Bethnal Green. I'm here with Jordan Granham. Mate, how was that fight out there today, buddy? It was good. Um, it was very technical. Uh, obviously, he's a tall southpaw, so I knew he's going to want to keep it long. Uh, I'm a good boxer myself, so we just it was quite a bit of a chess match, to be fair. But we both enjoyed it. Uh, I've known him since when he turned pro. I had a word with him when he was turning pro. So, yeah, it's good. Mate, out there, when I was watching it, he looks a bit buzzed. I must admit, I, I, I saw it, he kind of went into one of your jabs, and I was like, oh, yeah. this might turn out to be a bit of a tear up. Yeah, I don't know, I didn't see it myself, but um, yeah, it was good in there. We had a good mix up, man. I, I actually really enjoyed it. What, what's your hopes for the future, Jordan, with your boxing, mate? Where, where would you like to go? What would you like to do? Um, do you know, it's a good question. Uh, for now, I'll just take it a fight as they come. Um, I've got one next week. Do you know, for me now, the main thing is just getting in and, and, and coming out unhurt. I've seen a lot of people getting hurt, a lot of bad injuries. So for me, I just want to box the rest of my life. As much as I, I want to have as many fights as I can. Right now, I'm on 92. If I can get to 292, I'll happily get to 292. Uh, but um, yeah, I'll just take each fight as it comes, try and stay safe and just do as best as I can, really. And maybe moving along for next year or the year after a southern area, you never know? You never know. You never, never know. Uh, not in my visions at the moment, uh, but a lot of people always say to me, just put four wins on the trot and go for a southern area. But, um, you know... <laughs> you just have to wait and see. Now, Jordan, I know you. Go on, sorry. I know you're pushed for time, but no, no, um, go on. Go on, mate, let's talk a bit about your amateur career. Your two, uh, you just told me two time. Yeah, two time uh, national champion, uh, two time Harren Gay Box Cup gold medalist. Uh, I've had 28 wins, three losses. Actually, went 26 unbeaten. So amateur days were. It was different. You see, I'm amateur boxing and pro boxing are completely two different things. Amateur boxing is that like, that's the most I've ever buzzed off winning was amateur boxing, you'd be buzzing for two, three weeks. It was the, probably the best boxing days of my life, amateur. Yeah. But pro now is a business and this is my job and I fucking love it and I wouldn't want to do, <laughs> I wouldn't want to do anything else at all. I love it. So. What? For people that own watching Jordan, they yeah. don't get the, the role of a fighter on the road. I, I, you, it's so much more to it than going in there, just losing, it's, it, you know, it's knowing your way around the, the ring yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. not putting it on the prospect because yeah. you won't get booked again that's so true isn't it yeah they say that um what i was gonna say is no yeah, knowing your way around the ring is like sorry what was the question again it's a bit buzzing no no it's cool mate you know be, you know being um a fighter on the road there's so much more to yeah what and, think. and also when the, the prospects they get scheduled fights so they could say you have one in january the second so you have your eight week come your four week come whatever to january the second with guys on the road like me, I might get a call on Wednesday and say, Jordan, they want you in Wales on Saturday. So we've always got to be ticking over and always be ready. And we're always fighting away from home. So if I'm going to Wales, which I am next week, I'm going to have no supporters there. So I'm boxing the home fighter that's going to have all his supporters. So it's quite a hard job for the away fighters. But if you work your way around the ring and you know how to defend yourself, it's, you can do it. Like myself. Mate, well, I, I've seen you fight twice there. And both fights are... I, your last fight, I thought you. I thought that was a draw. The, um, I, I thought you should have got a draw there. That, yeah. That's my opinion. But you know, we know in boxing it doesn't work like that. And even tonight's fight, I was looking at it thinking, you know what? With the right camp, with because what I saw you, I thought he was buzzed. So, and it, this is what we want to do at Small Hall. We want to tell the story of the away fighters, mm -hmm. the fighters on the road, mm -hmm. that there's more to just going in the ring and losing. There's mm -hmm. so much more. 100%. And, 100%. Um, and anybody getting in that ring to start off with, you have to take your hat off to. Because 100%. It's not, it's not a joke. It's not like fucking people in there kissing each other. <laughs> people have got their fans that they're trying to impress, girlfriends, mums, kids. They're yeah. not trying to, you know, they're trying to kill you, trying to take your head off. So you've got to be prepared for that. And, and this is why people who follow boxers online should have much more respect. Yeah, but that's just the way of the world we're living. Fucking footballer misses a penalty and everyone fucking racially abusing them, slagging them off on Twitter. Like, it's just the world we're living. You just got to be thick skin. As soon as I jumped um, a fight on boxing as a journeyman, I just deleted my social media. Good and I haven't mate. been happier since, so I well, can't complain. Jordan, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you from Small Hall, mate. Thank you so much. And we Appreciate can't wait to uh, support in your journey. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Thank you.